day one of these videos. I don't even know what I'm going to call this yet or if I'm going to do them regularly, but uh, this is day one of me trying to streamline my life. This is uh, my basement, uh, the biggest room in the house. It's supposed, well, it's supposed to be one of the bedrooms. It's in the basement, one of two bedrooms, but uh, it was formerly my landlord's um, work area. Like he had his workbench in here and his workshop. And uh, been a couple tenants in here. Uh, this is a split house. I used to live and rent on the other side, but then moved back. And this is, uh, there's been a few tenants living in here, even when I was living over there. But anyway, that's not important. Um, this has basically been the storage room since I moved in here, uh, I guess four years ago now. Got divorced three years ago. I've been living single since then. Um, I've been trying to deodorize sections. So I've gotten that part done, but then moved stuff over there. I've been just uh, laying down baking soda and le letting it sit for a couple days at a time. Um, one of the previous tenants in here, I don't know, she lived, she like lived down in the basement here and, and uh, I remember she had a dog and I don't know, I think the, the carpet was deodorized, but you can still kind of smell weird stuff. So I've just been trying to suck out all this uh, weird smell as I can. So after I get uh, all this stuff situated and then over here, I mean, it's still mostly, it's, it's like two thirds storage here still. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully that'll that'll uh, get some of that old smell out. And then, I mean, the, the carpet's fine still, but it's just that smell. I'm sure the dog had a few accidents here and there from, and that was like six, six, seven years ago already, so. They have been festering, and um, where am I going with this? Well, I'm uh, I'm not showing myself deliberately on camera right now, but uh, basically, life has sucked so much for too long. As of the date of this recording, it's uh, March. Was it ninth? Early morning, March 9th, Wednesday of two thousand twenty-two. The world sucks right now as well. Um, I'm 42 years old. I've had this long list of things I want to do. I'm, I'm not in a good place mentally or even physically. And uh, <clears throat> so I thought I would start chronicling um, how I get along here. And here's my cat, Olive. She's 14. How are you doing, Olive? You like this chair. So this Ikea chair right here, forget the name of it. It's a, uh, oh, here's, I just put it together the other day. The Marcus chair. I put the towel in there because Olive already likes to sit on it. But I uh, bought that in July 2020, right in the smack dab middle of the pandemic. And it's been sitting in a box until just a few days ago. I finally assembled it. It's my new office chair. Actually, this uh, desk over here is Ikea desk as well. Also bought back in July 2020. I assembled that a couple weeks ago. And I also have some more Ikea furniture, which I have not put together yet. But anyway, you're probably wondering what all this stuff is on this desk that I just put together. Well, so this corner of the room um, was where I started. And then I put um, baking soda down there. There's been some baking soda down here as well, and now baking soda here. So right, what I'm going to do early this morning or tonight, so uh, the past couple of years, and just because I'm an idiot, and this is going to bring out the nerdiness in me. So when I was a little kid in the 80s, I loved He-Man toys, the Masters of the Universe. And a couple of years ago, Mattel has started putting out all the new toys again, and I don't even have all of them because they've been putting out so much, and I haven't been working, so I don't have the money. For all this stuff, but I've been like buying a couple here and there over the past two years or whatever year and a half since they first came out. And I was <laughs> thinking about selling them so I could get some money, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I was just going through all of them, trying to get, round them all up and put them together here. And 
perfect place to put them was this new desk I assembled. And there's the there's a Castle Grayskull in that box there. And um, so what I'm going to do right now, and that's right before I started recording, uh, I put on these, these uh, or I got these uh, cotton gloves here so I can handle these without getting any skin oils on them. And I'm going to move all these, move all the He-Man toys, set them somewhere here safely, and then I'm going to vacuum up this baking soda. This has been sitting here for about 48 hours now. Uh, move this desk over to right here. And then upstairs is where my current studio office is, just right above here. Uh, that was actually my old bedroom when I was still married. But anyway, I have a, a corner desk there, like an L-shaped desk that I've had for years. That's where one of my computers is sitting now. Well, actually, both of them. I have a an iMac and then a PC with a tower. And the cool thing about this table is it has these little... Uh, shelves on the bottom to set your towers on so uh the plan right now take this desk move it here well first vacuum this uh take all the he-man figures off there move the desk here then i'm going to go upstairs and and uh take apart and uh unplug and disconnect everything my two computers they should both fit just fine on this desk then I'm going to move that over here, and then I'm going to take apart that uh, L-shaped desk upstairs, put it in this corner. So then I'll have an L-shaped desk here, new desk with the computers here, and that's the goal right now. And then, uh, I mean, if I keep doing these videos, I'm going to chronicle the progress, track the progress here. But this video is already seven minutes long here, so this is getting a little long-winded for a introductory video. But... Uh, do I have to say anything else here? Well, just in my current state. Well, anyway, I don't like upstairs. And I'll I'll be showing that too in, in one of my next videos after I get going on here. But um, this is in the basement where it's quiet. And these windows, these egress windows are fairly, or, you know, uh, Landlord put those in several years back. They didn't have these windows in here before, so... They're new windows, so they're they're st they're pretty good soundproof wise, and uh, it's also three in the morning and I'm tired, so my brain isn't working. But uh, it's quiet down here, and that's what I like. Now the neighbor's um, laundry room is right on the other side of this closet here. Their uh, laundry and storage room kind of juts into my side of the house, and the the insulation or the the walls aren't very. Th thick between this room here and the laundry room there. So anytime they're doing laundry or the, the washer or dryer is, is running, it it's like I'm just standing right next to it, like the paper thin walls. So I got to figure something out with there. I'd asked the landlord before the most recent tenant on the other side, uh, before they moved in to uh, see if we could have added more, you know, another layer of uh, drywall on that side to thicken the wall a bit because it's unfinished on that side, but didn't do that. He put some more insulation in in the ceiling, but that didn't do a thing because you can hear the sound coming right through the walls. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Neighbor's nice, and uh, it's not like she's doing laundry every night, so it's it's just occasional. But the other concern is, okay, so get the computer set up here, move the desk here, and, um, well, the thing is, I the current project right now is to... Uh, record a couple songs, some special songs that I want to get done. And upstairs, it's noisy. When cars drive by, you can hear car engines and just random noise upstairs. It's just noisier upstairs. So I, and it's just cramped up there. There's way more room down here, even though it's full of stuff right now. But after I get everything organized, there's way more room down here. I can't remember the dimensions of the room. And blah, blah, blah. I keep talking, but I want to get the computers down here so I can at least have everything hooked up, get my instruments and the mixers and all that other stuff, mics and everything. So just set up down here, sit in my new chair. I got some uh, monitors here that I've had for a while and I've never used either. Got a pair of these uh, Arises. Um, so I'm going to set those up. I don't know if they'll, they'll fit up on these shelves. They might be too big for them, but anyway, 
the plan is just to get that set up and then that L-shaped desk, that my old desk, will actually, I won't have to have any computers on that anymore, so I will be able to set up like my animation light table and various other things and just have this desk dedicated to the computer. Computers, sorry. And now I'm going to step into some baking soda here, but yeah, see, so there's just, it's basically just been a storage room, but this is quieter down here and there's more room for everything. Um, I this easel and painting stuff down here. Um, French horn. Yeah, now I'm just showing some of my things here, but there's my vacuum. I'm going to vacuum that up right now and see it's Olive's chair. It's your chair, isn't it? Yep. And, uh, yeah, so this is actually, a, <laughs> that TV's been here for ages. That's not mine. That's just been here and it, it's never used because it's a old uh, analog TV and don't have cable on it or anything. So even if I did, I would have to have a converter box. Anyway, that's an old X-Wing uh, box kite I've had since 1997. Whew. Well, that's where I'm at tonight. Um, yeah, lava lamp, cat Halloween decoration. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, document more of this later. But for now, I think we're gonna call it a night. Well, for the video at least, I'm gonna work on some of this stuff before I go to sleep. But Olive, let's say goodbye to my first video. I don't know where I'm going with this or what I'm gonna call this video, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, signing off for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>